I talk really fast, sorry, I hope you under, can hear and understand me. First thing, so we redesigned the LA Times last year, a couple years ago, it launched earlier this year. To us, this brief was really important. This brief was not just, this is a 135 year old organization, they have story journalism, they win all these Pulitzers. This was in a world where news is kind of considered air, where I can go get it wherever I want. How do we drive distinct value? And how do we really redefine the role of a newspaper in modern society? So the old model, and you're all used to, everyone knows this, it's templates and then more templates, and they're like slightly different. And then there's more templates, because like we need one module changed a little bit. And then, oh, we need a new template because we want to move the photo somewhere. And then, oh, look, we need more templates. And all of a sudden, you have a newsroom trying to weed through hundreds of templates that make no sense, that are barely even remotely different from each other. And what does that lead to? That leads to a ton of parity. So in the industry, everything kind of looks very similar. There's a hero, there's a headline stack, there's lists on top of lists on top of lists, there's no hierarchy, there's no way to respond, and there's nothing creative for the newsroom to do from a storytelling perspective. So with the LA Times, we wanted to try to change that. We tried to imply what we call a responsive philosophy. Responsive philosophy is very simple. There's responsive design, yeah, that's great, it moves across the viewports, I can see it on any device, wonderful. Responsive philosophy is what does that really let us do? It lets us respond to user context, where did they come from? What's their entry point? What device are they on? What's going on from a hierarchy perspective in the world that day? How do I respond to the flow of news? And that's how you do it from a, in a product and experience perspective, you break it down to atomic elements. So you say, you know what, the template is dead, I'm gonna build all these micro elements, they're gonna form pages dynamically based on what users are doing and what we know about them, and that's the new experience. From an organizational and process perspective, that requires the organization to work together. So currently, at the LA Times, when we started working with them, they're in LA. Technology was in Chicago. That was not awesome when you need to make something new right away to respond to a story that's happening in the world. And from a technology and data perspective, you gotta make sure that everything that you do is on a flexible platform that doesn't box you into a corner. So how did we solve it? So you got right there a home page. The home page can respond to the world. It's different depending on what's going on and you can therefore put a flexible programming strategy together around it. As you move to the right, Section fronts, section fronts can be different. Some of them, like business, really into data, high velocity news. Some of them, like food, way more visual because food is exciting to look at. Article pages, they can respond. Shareable elements, quick summaries, like the share lines at the top. Blogs that represent the voice of the author as well as of the subject matter, which for something like the LA Times, that's critically important since they want to own entertainment. The right to, story arcs. How do you track stories over time? How do you package content together so that it tells a narrative? That works really well for episodic television coverage, which again, LA Times, really important. Continuing, magic move, what's up? Galleries, multimedia, critically important. Related panels, so we can continue to build experiences. The transporter, which moves you from one page into the other, dynamically responding to users. And of course, VisiBrowse, which is a new way to look at content. And then lastly, this was an enterprise solution. It was ported across all of the tier one properties for all of Tribune. That's everything from the Chicago Tribune to the Orlando Sentinel Journal, et cetera, et cetera. And it will continue to get better over time because it's built on an optimization platform. Thank you.